<laughs> That's the thing with teaching, you don't have to understand everything you say. Are you sure? You just have to be confident enough. If we have the limit as x approaching a of the function f of x is equal to l, then for all epsilon greater than zero, there is a delta greater than zero such that if the absolute value of x minus a is in between of zero and delta, not including zero, then we will have the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than the epsilon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. If we have the limit as x approaching a of f of x is equal to l, then we must have for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than zero, such that if the absolute value of x minus a is in between of zero and delta, then we must have the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. <laughs>